y'all and welcome to Scrappy Sunday chat number six. This is June's episode for hashtag Scrappy Sunday. My name is Kay and this is my YouTube channel where I share about all of my knitting and crocheting adventures. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the crazy sock lady. And goodness, I have a new Scrappy Sunday cast on to share with you. I can't wait for you to see it. If you are joining us for the first time for Scrappy Sunday chats and you're not sure what Scrappy Sunday is, this is something I like to do. Um, I always post hashtag Scrappy Sunday on Instagram and share the scrappy projects that I'm working on. Just using up all of my scraps or minis, anything that I have like that, just putting them all together. I like to do that on Sundays, whether I work on it for just a little while on Sunday or I spend all of Sunday working on scrappy projects. I find they really just help to clear my mind and it really gets me like ready to jump into work on Monday with, I'm just always so inspired and the scrappy projects just kind of energize me a little bit and get me going for the week. On today's Scrappy Sunday chat, I have two works in progress to share with you. One is the new cast on that I mentioned, and we also have a giveaway to announce. So speaking of giveaways, last episode we did a, I announced the winners for the giveaways from April's episode. And I want to remind you guys to go watch that if you have not already to see if you won. And if you did watch it, you know you won, you messaged me, you didn't hear back from me, or you haven't gotten your pattern yet, please contact me again because I'm hoping that none of the messages got lost. It just kind of, everything got all crazy with um, summer sock camp starting, which you can find out more about on the regular podcast if you are not familiar with summer sock camp. But yeah, if you have not gotten your pattern prize yet, or if you haven't, you don't know if you won or anything like that, um, watch the episode, contact me, let me know, hey, I know I won, I messaged you, but I haven't gotten my prize yet. I apologize if messages have gotten lost here. I hope that's not the case, but I know that I haven't heard from quite a few of the winners. The first work in progress I'll share with you is one that you guys have seen. This is in my Mountain State Stitches project bag. Oh, and I want to show you guys. So over in the Etsy shop, I believe there's still some left of both that I'll show you both of them. But we have the hashtag Scrappy Sunday enamel pins. So head over, I'll have the Etsy shop linked down below. But this is my crochet granny stripe blanket. I am coming to the end of my magic knot ball here. It's definitely getting smaller. I'm gonna have to pull some minis out and make another one soon. So the blanket is very large. This is it folded in half, like it's very long. This is where I was last time. So I feel like I've made a decent amount of progress. I'm gonna go ahead and move that up. So for my crochet granny stripe blanket, I have a project page that has the tutorial that I used. I already knew how to crochet. I've been a crocheter before I was a knitter, but I did follow a video tutorial for how to do the edging and all of that. So I have that linked in my project page, which I'll have the project page linked below for both of these projects. For this blanket, I've kind of stuck to like a, a pastel -y theme, which is interesting because I don't normally have a ton of pastel, like lighter yarns like this. When I go to make my next magic knot, we'll see how many colors I have that I can actually put in here. Hopefully I haven't already used them all. If so, that's fine. Scrappy projects to me are long-term projects, so I'm totally fine waiting, you know, and gathering some more to put in. This one has been so much fun. I love when I get to sit down on Sundays and put a little bit of time into this. I've actually kind of been itching to work on this a bit during the week as well, but... I haven't. I've been waiting until Sunday. The crochet hook that I'm using for this is a Tulip Etimo crochet hook. This is the pink. And I will have links for where you can get these on Amazon down below. 
The other work in progress that I have is in a bag from the Fat Squirrel, huge bag. And I have my pink Scrappy Sunday pin on there. And this is my Cozy Memories. It's just started, so it's not really big enough to fit in here yet. I just have a ton of yarn down inside of here that's waiting to be added in. So here's where I'm at so far. I have nine squares done. This is my center point. So my first, I can't remember which one of these was my first square, but I just built them going out like the way that I added them on. I made sure they were going to be going in four different directions. And then everything will be radiating out from that center, if that makes sense. That's how I did my last one and I really loved the look of it. And I have a mug rug tutorial here on YouTube where I chat more about how I did the four squares like that and I made that into a little mug rug. It's actually a, not a mug rug tutorial. <laughs> it's an I-cord border tutorial, but I made a mug rug in it to show you the border. For this, I'm using my signature stiletto straight needles and the size is 2.5 millimeter. And the pattern I'm following is for how to do the square is The Coziest Memory by Kemper Ray. That's how I learned how to do um, the Cozy Memories blanket. I have made some changes and things like that, which are all in my project page. So it's kind of loosely based on that, I guess, because I've made quite a few little changes to how I do my square. I only cast on 40 stitches instead of the amount that's called for in the pattern. And I have a tip that's in my project page for how to do the edging differently so that it's easier to know where to pick up your stitches. So I guess I've kind of created my own pattern. <laughs> I don't know, but I do a lot differently in how I pick up my stitches and do the directions of my squares. So yeah, I guess I've kind of morphed into my own little new design here for that, but that is my Cozy Memories blanket. I love the first one so much that I just had to start the second one. I've been thinking about it ever since I finished the last square on my first Cozy Memories blanket. I have wanted to start a second one. It's just to me such a fun pattern. I take the yarn. This bag is just completely full. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see all of that in there, but it's all the way up to here on the bag <laughs> with leftover yarn anything that's left from a fingering weight because both of these are fingering weight projects i don't think i said that they are both using only fingering weight i don't mix the weights of yarn but any project that i finish with fingering weight yarn it goes this is how i did the first one and this is how i'm planning to do this one it goes into my cozy memories and then whatever is left from that goes into any type of crochet um scrappy project that I have going or I could use it for socks you know scrappy socks or something but yes those are the two projects that I have going right now for scrappy Sunday I have a giveaway this episode for you guys so we have a cardigan pattern that was donated to the podcast for a giveaway and this is the candy cloud cardigan by Cami Joe knit and this is using mohair scraps, which is something I don't have a ton of. So I find this very interesting and intriguing and it's such a very pretty pattern. So I will put a link down below for this. And for this giveaway, you guys just comment down below this episode. Let me know what scrappy projects you're working on or what scrappy projects you're dreaming of starting. Yeah, just comment that down below. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave it open for one week. And then one week from the date this episode goes up, I will choose a winner from the comments and then I will notify them by commenting like on their comment and letting them know they won and to pass along their Ravelry name so that I can get that sent over and they can be gifted the pattern. I think that'll work better. I'm wondering with not hearing from some of the winners from the previous episode, if maybe a month is just too long to wait between announcing 
the winners that is kind of a long time so I'm going to try it that way and notify them so that they don't have to wait a whole other month to get their prize but I think that's it for this Scrappy Sunday chat. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that you are feeling inspired to work on your Scrappy Sunday projects or start some new ones. And I will see you guys again for more hashtag Scrappy Sunday next month in July. Until then, happy knitting and crocheting. Bye.